Okay, so let's say that we have an object launched from a height L at a speed V naught, but at an angle theta with respect to the horizontal. Okay, so clearly this object will do something like that, and we'll hit the ground there, somewhere along there. And uh, <coughs> so it'll hit the ground like that. And the question is, <coughs> what is the speed of the object? So is it the velocity, the magnitude of the velocity? <coughs> so the first thing to notice is that the magnitude of the velocity, or the speed, is the x component squared plus the y component squared square root. Okay, so these are the quantities we're looking for, so let's uh, write the Vx equation. What does that look like? Well, the horizontal component of the velocity, right, so the x equations only care about the horizontal part, but the velocity is not in the horizontal, so we need the horizontal part of that, which is V naught times the cosine of the angle theta. Right, one way to think about this is that the hypotenuse is V naught, and here's our right triangle with that angle theta. And right, by definition, the cosine of that angle is the adjacent side, which is the part we're looking for, the horizontal part, over V naught. And so by definition, right, from the definition of the, so of the cosine, Vx becomes V naught cosine of theta. And there's no acceleration in the horizontal direction, so that equation doesn't change. Let's look at Vy. Well, in this case, we have just uh, the other trig function, so it's V naught sine of theta. But this acceleration, it's the acceleration due to gravity, so we have minus gt. So we need to know t, oops, we need to know what t is at the moment the object hits the ground, and we don't have that. So that's going to force us to one of the other kinematic equations. Right? There's nowhere else to go except one more kinematic equation, which is the wide vertical uh, position kinematic equation. So what does that say? So it says y equals y naught, but we want the time associated with when the object is at y equals zero. So the y is zero, and the y naught is L. That's the starting point. Right? The object starts at a height L. So we have y equals y naught plus v naught y t. Right? We care about the, the vy part of this. So we have v naught sine theta times t minus one-half times g t squared. Okay, so this is how we get the time. So t, by the quadratic formula, is equal to minus b, and this is the, the b term. Right, we're thinking of the quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, but, it, but instead of x, it's t here that gets squared. So this term is in front of t, just like the b is in front of x. So we want minus b, so it's minus v naught sine theta, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so v naught squared sine squared theta, minus 4 times a times c. And uh, a is this term, so we get a minus g over 2, so it's minus 4 times a times c, c is l, we have to divide all of that by 2a, which is minus g. Sorry, I keep breaking my tip. So we have to look at this in a little more detail, so what is t? Well, it's the sum of two terms, and so the first term is v naught sine theta over g, because we have minus over minus, that's a positive, so we get 
a positive term, V naught sine theta over G, and then we have to decide what to pick. Right? Is it going to be a positive or a negative term that involves the V naught squared sine squared theta? We have a an overall plus sign in here, so we get plus 2GL square root, and that gets divided by G. Do we want a plus or a minus? And the answer is that since we want a positive time, and this whole thing is this whole thing is larger than this one, we have to choose the plus time. And so what we get now when we go back to this equation, right, is that Vy is equal to V naught sine theta minus g times this time. So we get minus g times this. So minus g times v naught sine theta over g plus the square root of all this. over g, and that gives us, right, so notice here we have v naught sine theta, and the first term gives us minus v naught sine theta because the g's cancel. So the first two terms go away, and then we have a minus g times this term, which makes it minus the square root of all of that. And so that's the vy. Unsurprisingly, it's negative, right? The object comes down and it's hitting the ground like that. It has a negative vertical component and has the same horizontal, right? This is the Vx and this is the Vy. The Vx is unchanged, but the Vy is now pointing downward. So our, our speed, which is the magnitude of the velocity, has this quantity squared, right? We're looking at this expression. So we get V naught squared cosine squared of theta plus this thing squared. So uh, we get plus V naught uh, squared sine squared theta plus 2 GL, which is Right, so here we can pull out the V naught squared, and then we get cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta, but that's equal to 1. So we get V naught squared plus 2GL, and of course we have to take the square root of all of this. So that's the square root of that, and that's our speed.